I'm going to show you a few shortcut ways of working with uh, inline styles for an HTML email within Dreamweaver. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys, we can actually do this in Dreamweaver CS5.5, which is what I have open. We can do it in CS5, and I'm pretty positive we can do this in CS4. It all comes down to the property inspector and how it looks. So if you open up your HTML email in here, and you can start from Photoshop or Illustrator, right? You can start from a lot of programs cut it up, make a table base layout. That's what I've got here. And we're going to wind up using, if we care about Gmail and a couple other clients, we're going to wind up using uh, inline styling. So to do that in Dreamweaver, what I can do is I can put my cursor in a paragraph. And if you look down here, you'll see we have our tags listed here. Now, if I click on that tag, I can select the entire paragraph. Now, there's a shortcut way to do that. If I put my cursor in there and I go to edit, you can see we've got select parent tag. If you learn that shortcut right there, it's going to be command bracket on Mac. If I do that, let me try it. I'll put my cursor in there. Control or command, left bracket. It selects the P. If you want to then go in and hand code this stuff, like edit it yourself, of course you can go into code view. Or you can do this. Press control T on Windows, command T on Mac, and you get the quick tag editor. Then I can... You know, space, style, you get the code hinting, it helps you out, you can do your thing. Now that's great, okay? That's one way to do it. Another way is this. Let me actually delete that stuff. I'll put my cursor in there. It doesn't really matter, you know, what I got going on. I'll select the paragraph again, the, the P tag. That's what we need to select, right? So that's where we put up most of our styling, you guys. We put it in the P tag to make it easy. So control, left bracket, command, right bracket, or sorry, command, left bracket on Mac as well. Select the P, like down here. Come down to the Property Inspector, and you'll see that we have the CSS button. This is what I'm talking about, different versions, you guys. So if you see these HTML and CSS buttons, you should be able to do this pretty easily. You can do it in other ways, other previous versions, but I'm not showing you that. So <laughs> if you look right here, you're going to see Targeted Rule. You can choose New Inline Style. So I'll click on that. Any properties I set over here, like let's say I pick a font, you know, you guys do what you want. Do bold, centering, size, 11 pixels, you know, whatever you want. You do that. What it's going to do is it's going to put that styling in line. And to show you, the P is already selected. So if I hit Control T on Windows, Command T on Mac, I can see my quick tag and see the styling and I can edit or add what I want. Now, another way to do this that's kind of cool is we can actually create what's called a snippet. And I found this to be kind of helpful. You guys, here's what I tend to do in short cases. If I only have like three, four, or five paragraphs, I'll open up the Quick Tag Editor with Control T or Command T. I'll select the style stuff. I'll just copy it. I'll go to the next paragraph, put my cursor in it. I'll hit Control or Command, left bracket, Control T on Windows, Command T on Mac, and just paste, and there's my next paragraph. So you can see that there's some easy ways to do that. Now, another way to get it done is if I select a paragraph, let's say I select one that's already got formatting. Let me do that. I'll go into split view so you can see the code. What we can do is we can actually select the P tag itself, just the P with the styling all the way to that little um, greater than, and we can create a snippet. That makes us allow us to, to save it, to copy it, and place it in other files. So I can right-click there, create new snippet, it's going to say, what do you want to call this? I'll call this, you know, P tag with blah, blah, blah. You give it a description, do what you want. We want to make sure that it wraps around whatever we select. That literally means this. It's going to put, if we select some text on our page, let's say I select this paragraph right here. I can't do it right now, but I will. It's going to put this in front of it. So the P style right there, that stuff. And then I want to have it put the closing P after it. So I'll do that, insert after you can preview it in code or design. It doesn't really matter. Make sure it says wrap selection, not insert block, because that'll insert just the P. Click OK. Now, to see these, what I'm going to do is come under Window, and you will see that we have under here somewhere snippets. There we go. Snippets. If I take a look, you're going to see it creates a snippet for me, and it's called P tag. Now, if I select that text right there, I select it. Come over here. You're going to see the P tag snippet. I can insert it by clicking Insert, and it'll put it in there. Hopefully you guys don't hear that wailing kid. Anyway, uh, hopefully it's not mine. Okay, so you can see what it did. It put it out there. Now, the problem you're going to find, you guys, is that it already has a paragraph in there, so it probably creates an extra return you just got to get rid of. So you can go to different paragraphs, select it, 
click insert to insert it and it will put that p tag around it and sometimes like i said create an extra paragraph return you need to get rid of that is there forever you guys that snippet you can use that in other html emails you're working on all sorts of things so anyway this is just a few quick tips for working with html email and styling